no, that has literally never happened. And then that's when we were like, okay, something's wrong. Do you know in America, typically we don't change our schedule every day. Like you just leave them. Kinda... <laughs> I'm also a little concerned that Nacho missed the bus. Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog today. A bit rainy and dreary outside, I've decided. For now, I'm gonna drive all the kids to school. The buses just kept coming earlier and earlier. And I said, no more. Um, Frankie gets to come too. You wanna go? We've, we're taking uh, Bessie in. The brakes have had a little bit of an issue ever since we first, it's never not had this issue. Where they grind. We gotta film it today. It's weird, yeah, I need to film it. Um, yes, taking the kids to school, all of them. I'm the bus driver today. We but we're going in Bessie. It is like, it sounds like metal on metal grinding. Just like the most horrible sound ever. Just crunching, grinding. So he has to sit there and rub the engine. And it's consistent every single time. Unless the car's warmed up, it is consistent every single time. It's the weirdest thing. And it's been happening since the day we got it. So, <laughs> starting to talk to other people that have this same van and they're like, no, that has literally never happened. And then that's when we were like, okay, something's wrong, which you don't wanna walk around with a car that has a problem with the brakes. But we've been doing it since December of last year, so. We gotta get it fixed or checked. Hopefully they don't tell us that there's nothing wrong because obviously there's something wrong. I am going to get my workouts in every morning while he's doing carpool and then when he gets back, I will watch the kids and clean the house while he does his workout. That's our, that's our plan. Yes. Don't know if this kid visits. Evie goes and gets a fanny pack and says, Mom, you need to put a speaker in this. So that's my girl. That's your that's girl. My girl. <laughs> She's ready to party. All right, we are at the store because we're gonna buy some candies for the exchange students to try. They have not tried very many candies from America. They've never been here. So we're gonna just get the classic, our favorites and just like things that have been around forever in America, all the classics and have them try it. We did this with Paola and I think with Roberta too, if I remember correctly. And it was so much fun. So, um, here we go. Okay, we are getting a good variety of things here. This is gonna be fun. Mike and Ike's Whoppers, Butterfinger, Junior Mints, Nerds, Airheads, Licorice, Sour Pads, Hot Tamales, Sweetest Fist, so many, so Dad, many things. comment below. What's your favorite candy? What's a must try? You got a banana and a I think, ball? I think we're doing all right. All this candy and this is what he's got in hand. This so. is what he wanted. Uh, you want to open? He's a good baby. Uh, bite. Uh, bite. Okay, take a bite. Take a bite. Oh, we're clogging up traffic here. There we go. <laughs> good job, Nino. Yeah, he's eating food, real food. Because it has sugary food. <laughs> Natural sugar though, it's better. All right, you guys, we just got done with um, Ambry and Zade's second appointment for physical therapy. We're just going to, um, it's the place that the doctor referred us to. So, um, actually it's kind of amazing to watch because as the doctor's explaining how to like move the back and align everything up, like it's a lot of breathing and a lot of just like correcting posture and holding and then like core strengthening like planks and and then Ambry has a few other things to help her legs um, straighten out because they're so bent like her knees bend in and her feet bend out and all of her ligaments um, are tight on the opposite sides of the parts that bend way out so they're having her stretch and and align and work on her posture and she's like I've been trying to walk more straight and so she's trying to align her body. They're being more aware of 
how they hold themselves and um, how they're sitting and how they're standing, how they're walking and stuff. So I think it's gonna be really good for them. We're gonna go twice a week for the next three weeks and then we're gonna take a couple weeks and do just one appointment. And um, hopefully, he said they should be doing the exercises five times a week. And um, he's like, I would rather them do less exercise. Like, like he only gave Zade like maybe two exercises to even do. And he's like, the thing is, is that I, we found that if we give the kids too many too many exercises like a lot of them they kind of just will try to speed through them because it takes a lot of time to do that many exercises we find that if we give them one or two or three maybe and and have them really practice them well and and master those exercises really well they tend to do better than if we give them 10 different exercises to like it like overwhelms them and they can't focus and put as much effort into it because it's a lot of it is just like how like I said how you stand and correcting the spine it's a little hard to hear <laughs> but like because he he explained to us how the bones actually grow in that pattern like it's not like like even if they fuse the spine then the bones are still like wider on the side that's curved and skinnier on the side that's concave um so like sticking a bar and like screwing them all together is just kind of like straining it into a straight line it's not really going to fix it so that's why i think amber is going to have um hopefully a better chance of having some correction because she still has a lot of growing to do um Zade is probably going to be more in the category of maybe we get a few, like maybe there's a little bit of correction because he has a little bit of growing. He might still do, but he might be more in the category of like maintaining and making sure it doesn't get worse. But the good thing about Zade is that the physical therapist said about Zade, he was like, I'm actually really shocked how well he hides his curve and how like, like he holds himself like you almost don't notice it and like with how many with how big his degrees of his curves are he expected him to be like a lot more tilted and so he was like I'm actually really surprised like he's doing really well and he's very very strong like all of the strength exercises that he told him to do he's just like he's strong like maybe in his hips a little bit we could strengthen like a little bit of his hips but like He's got a lot of muscle and he's strong. So I think that year of swim that he did helped so much. And I'm so glad that he did that last year because he got a lot stronger. And now the physical therapist is like, well, he's like really strong. It, I think come to me like six or seven times and he'll probably be set to be okay and strengthen and like correct his back as much as possible. But I hope they're doing okay. They, they seem to be fine. And the Ambry, oh, I gotta tell you what he said about Ambry today. He does this back exercise where they are, I guess it's just like a, so they do this thing where they sit in the chair and then they align their pelvis and then they try to like stack their vertebrae really straight, straight and then they like try to adjust and then like breathe air into the concave areas to kind of like pull them in and and then like push things in, pull things out and like straighten their back. And you can watch their backs actually straighten. It's pretty cool. So like his muscles can kind of pull. Zaid was like getting his back almost completely straight when he would lay on his side and do the, the exercise that he showed him. And it was really cool to see everything that was like kind of curvy, just kind of stretch and straighten out. Cause that cartilage and stuff has like a little bit of flexibility right so he can like train it to kind of look and appear more straight so really cool to watch really cool to see how they can train their mind and he was like push out on your back right here I have a few videos I can try to show you I was filming them up and down to try to like have the kids watch them to do their exercises later but maybe we can put a few pieces in here but the one thing he said about Ambry is that she is super aware of her body and like her breathing he's like she's probably the best breather we've ever i've ever seen like she was able to 
just do it and hold her neck straight, keep her shoulders down and like breathe air into those spots that he was telling her. Like the first try, he's just like, whoa, she's doing really good. Like this is the best I've ever seen someone do. And so that was a cool compliment to see him say that about her. Kids are getting home from school. Susie, how was school? Good. I'm I changed my schedule for the third time. It seems like you're changing it. So you know, do you know in America, typically we don't change our schedule every day. Like you just leave them and kind of... <laughs> did they tell you that? Yeah. Okay. So but my cousin maybe here tomorrow. Likes me. He's very nice to me. You're a lot of visits. Is it Mr. the guy that speaks Italian? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. He likes. He's funny. Um, I'm also a little concerned that Nacho missed the bus. So he. Oh, he, he no, there's no practice. There's a game oh. today that he's not going to. So. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering when Nacho was yeah, going to. Yeah, but he said. He said somebody's giving him a ride, so I sent her address and hopefully he gets yes. here. Good luck. <laughs> somebody's giving him a ride. Yes, so <laughs> he's still figuring things out. He said they thought we had practice, but they had a game, so yeah, hof hopefully Nacho makes it home, okay. Okay, Nacho made it home. Nacho. Yeah. Were you crying at school? No. <laughs> he's a big boy. How'd you find a friend? <laughs> Uh, I know, I was talking to them, then I told them I lost the bus, and they told me they want me to die home. People are nice, huh? Yeah. There's some nice people yeah. left in this that's world. That's good, I'm glad they got you home yeah, That's Nacho. good, because the team has a game today, and you're not going to, because you're no, not... because it's away, and no, I'm not. And your paperwork's not oh, quite away. in yet. That's why. Yeah, it's in yeah. Spanish Fork, it's far away, so... It's like 40 minutes. And Miss Daisy's home! Yes, I am. Daisy, guess what? Surprise, surprise, your backpack is here. Whoa, this? whoa, whoa. My backpack that I might let you use. Listen, Daisy wants to use, she's been wanting a new backpack and then she saw a freshly picked, it's technically a diaper bag, but I it's a backpack. Um, she saw it at the Take Stuff, the Utah Take Stuff, and she's like, I want that backpack. And I was like, okay. We went to a thing and I entered a drawing and I was the grand prize winner, so. He won the freshly It's pick. not a bag I'm gonna be using, so I might let Daisy borrow it. She's so me. excited. I know, and she's been asking like every day when I can go pockets. get it. I'm just gonna give it away to somebody else. It doesn't seem like Wait, you really no, want no. it. There's a bag and something about a $100 gift card to Shine Cosmetics. Oh. Listen, and I have a 10% discount. And if you want to stack them, I think you can. Maybe. Daisy? Well, okay. Okay, so I have a Shine discount code for you guys. It's April or Gil 10. And I don't know if she can stack her code, but you better use it if you're gonna buy stuff from there. But I'll tell you, almost almost everything on my face is from them, with the exception of, I think the only thing I didn't use of theirs today was mascara. So um, it's amazing stuff. I love it. Wow. There's a lot of padding in this backpack. <laughs> So Ambery was jealous of Daisy's, so then she stole mine, which I haven't needed a, a diaper bag because Frankie's kind of phasing out of diapers, and so now I mean, hardly ever needs a diaper change. So I like just grab this and throw it in the car when we go because I don't need like all the things anymore. So Ambery's using this one for school. <laughs> Daisy's using this one, and I'm telling you, I would have never. So, thought of suggesting this, but they were all about it because they were like, those are cute. I love all the pockets. And it actually fits the books really well. And then it has this extra pocket in the back they can slide like a book um, or a notepad in. It's just a really great bag. And they can put it on their shoulder like a purse too. So put it on your shoulder, see how you like it. Oh, just like that. Oh, is that cool or what? Yeah. Super cute. Ladies and gentlemen, EB has something very special to show you. We've been working very hard on this. Introducing a clean room. We haven't seen this floor in a few months. It's been covered and now we can see it. it kind of looks like a new room in here. Let's keep it like this. How does that sound, guys? It feels so good. <laughs> Should we keep it like this? What did we decide? It feels different in here, right? It feels good in here. It just feels different. 
It yep. feels like I, I just got a new room. We can see actually see the floor. Let's try to keep it like this. Okay, guys? We never got to the video of eating candy today. We'll have to do that maybe tomorrow. We'll shoot for tomorrow. But Nacho has a game tomorrow, right? Or is he not going? He has to go, he's going but he's not to playing. It. I think we can eat candy tomorrow before the game. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching the vlog. We're gonna go downstairs and watch some drawn in. David Bowman art is so good. And I think he's doing a free trial right now. So go and check it out. David Bowman art. It's gonna be awesome.